Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today, I'm asking you this question. Who are you hanging with? Are you ready? Well, let's get started. So who do you spend most of your time with? Have you ever even really thought about that very much? Well, the legendary speaker and author Jim Rohn famously said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Now, Jim said that many times. I've thought about it many, many times. And so whether you've heard it before now or not, the question is, who are you spending time with? And perhaps thinking about that now, about being the average of the five people you spend the most time with, might lead you to some conscious thought about who you are and whether that's the right answer for you and all of those things. And that's worthwhile mental thinking. But it leads me to some other questions. And as I've thought about it in the past, I've asked myself these questions. I thought today I'd share those other questions with you, right? First question is, um, am I being intentional with who I spend my time with? Or is it just where I sort of show up? It's worth thinking about. If I, if I want to continue to grow and improve, am I being intentional about who I spend time with? Here's one. Do I have diversity of thought and experience with my five? Or am I creating and even sustaining my own personal echo chamber? Am I only spending time with people that agree with all of my perspectives? Am I, doing, am I spending time with people who will expand my thinking and expand my uh, thought processes? and perhaps challenge my thought processes? Or am I just creating my own little bubble that I'm living in? It's worth thinking about. Next question is, am I raising the average for the others that have me in their five? I mean, think about it. The people in your five aren't necessarily the same five with everybody else. So, so with others, if others were asking this question, are you raising their average or not? That could be challenging to you. And then, am I raising or lowering the average of my five? So while I'd like to be raising the average for others by being a contributing member of conversations and experiences and such, I want to, if I want to be growing, I need to be reaching out and spending time with others who might be helping me. So in some ways, I'd like to be lowering the average because I want to be at the lower end, but I certainly want to be um, uh, adding value and helping others as well. So am I raising or lowering the average of my five? Am I raising or lowering the average of the five of other people's fives? Both valuable questions. And maybe lastly, as a leader, what does this whole idea say about your team? Is your team's average continuing to grow? Are they reinforcing and learning from each other and with each other? And is their overall average continuing to grow? So I've asked you some deep questions to ponder, but I want to step back to the original question. Who are you spending your time with? And if you're a parent, you've thought about this with your kids. You've wondered about who they're hanging out with. You've been concerned perhaps about who they're hanging out with or been very happy about that circle of friends that they have. Have you spent nearly as much time thinking about your circle as you have about your kids? So let me close by asking again, who are you hanging with? Here's today's tweet. Jim Rohn said we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. He is right. Who are you hanging with? The idea for this episode came from my daily email. Four days a week, Tuesday through Friday, I write a two to three hundred word email to our customers and closest friends and colleagues to share with them some ideas, to inspire them, to challenge them, to urge them to continue their growth. It's called the daily email. And guess what? You can join us. You can subscribe right here on this page. I hope you'll do that. And I'll be back next week with another episode of Remarkable TV.